In this video, we're going to use GeoGebra to set up the intersection of two lines. So my first step is to click my slider tool right here and tell GeoGebra I want the slider right here. Now this will be M sub 1, so underscore, M underscore 1. That's my slope of my first line. And then below it, let me set up B underscore 1 for the y-intercept of my first line. And then I'll do the same thing for the second line. So again, M underscore 2 for the slope of the second line. And then one last time, B underscore 2 for the y-intercept of our second line. Now I can manipulate the variables of each line. So now I want to enter in my lines. So first I have line underscore 1 colon and then y equals m underscore 1. I do a space for multiplication x plus b underscore 1. So that's just the equation for my first line. And once that's set up, I can manipulate the y-intercept and the slope by changing right the dot on the slider. I can do the same thing now to create a second line. So line underscore 2 colon and then the same thing y equals m underscore 2 space x plus b underscore 2 so I'm just entering my lines in y equals mx plus b format I always test my sliders I probably want to oops, do some color coding here so that we know which set of sliders goes to which line and then also label each line so I'm going to select my second line right here hit control or command e and I'm going to show both name and value, or excuse me, just probably just value, I think. Let's see how that looks. And there it is right there. I can move that in a moment. And I also want to change the color, let's say red. And then I'll select these two oops, sliders, hit Command E. And if I have a hard time selecting them, right, you can just select them here. So I want to select B2 and M2 and I want the color to be red and you see it changes it right there so now we know that this controls at the very least the red line now the equation is down here you can move that where you want right? and I would then at least for the second line here also show for the label the value so that we can see the equations of each line as we're manipulating them as we're playing with them okay so we have this set up, let me just move this. Okay. So now we're we're really concerned with the intersection point, right? That's the goal of, of our exercise right here. We want to see how these things actually, you know, where they meet and, and how we can have an interactive setup for that in GeoGebra. So what do we do? Well we want to examine the intersection point, right? So let's let's click that tool, the intersection of two objects, and click those two objects. And notice it creates point A over here, which is the, in the intersection. So now what I do is I would type in x coordinate equals x of A. And that means that when I type in the x coordinate command, it gives me the x value of A. And you can see here in the window that does that, it gives you that x coordinate. And then I do the same thing for the y coordinate equals x of A. So that, that gives you the, the y value of point A. So now I want to insert some dynamic text features, and you can really customize this however you want, uh, to show that as you change the y-intercept of one of the lines, that alters the intersection point and all of these other things as well. So how do we do that? Well, here's our text feature right here, and I might use this area. I click, and then I have my text. So I would say text is line 1 and we'll create dynamic text so that as I move this around it displays what the line value is so I click that over here and now this is nice what happens is as my, I change my line I also change the text and I can make this larger um, or whatever just to highlight what's happening and then I keep going I also want to create a text box for the second line so line 2 and then I click line 2 and I probably want to go back to this one real quick. I should have typed line 1. 
and there you have it. So now you have two sets of dynamic text that help you keep track of what's happening here. And the last one I would probably um, set up a dynamic text for the intersection point. And I might do it like this. You click over here and you type in solution. Okay. Let me drag this over here. And then again here for a solution it's an intersection point, point A. And point A is made up of X and Y values. So I would say the X value equals and then type in or click excuse me at the X coordinate. And then the same thing for the Y value. And this shows the point that's the solution of the intersection. So the Y value equals the Y coordinate. And you can keep going with this. Maybe this is not helping students. So you can type in A equals, and then you can click X coordinate, comma, Y coordinate. Hit OK. And this might help students make that connection that this point really is a solution with both an X and a Y value, and you can see that. And what's nice, again, is as you change these lines, you're also changing all the text um, that displays what you want to see. And you can add all types of things here, uh, and you can change the format to make it more friendly. But the idea is you can display these things and have students play with them to see that the intersection point really is a solution for both lines. All right, hope this helped.